Welcome back, survivors. I'm the survival of this, and we return to Abiotic Factor, where we're still working through the Hydro Plant. I'd like to say I have some semblance of what we all have done in the past couple of episodes this week, but aside from stockpiling and preparing us in the first episode to now being where we are, I have no idea the progress or direction we've kind of gone through to get to where we are. But we've got further we can keep exploring and trying to get through... I'm still trying to figure out how we get our tier 5 hacking tool, because it seems like that's going to be our main means of getting back through a lot of areas. And we're somewhere in, I guess we're at the Waterfall Apartments now. I don't know what we're going... Oh, 556 ammo. I have no idea what we're supposed to be, like, looking out for. Oh, well, speaking of drink, we just had that. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we're going to be very fine on... Okay, so thankfully we got a little bit of food and water here. Okay, there's that. Uh, I don't think we super need to wash ourselves off. No. Okay there, at least he's taken care of. Uh no a supply room. Ooh. Oh, okay, well, you know what? We'll have the can peas and then we'll have that MRE, because that's gonna be really good. But yeah, we made it to wherever this is. I don't know what we're going to find here, if anything. I'm kind of hoping maybe it'll just be like a tier five hacking thing without us having to make it. Because, like, I don't know where we've been, uh, possibly missing resources, or where they could be hidden. But yeah, we're... Ah, uh, it sounds like the Layak has followed us as well. Oh, uh, we got more over that way. It honestly seems like there's... Not all that much here. Nope. Oh, never mind. There is this big guy that we'll probably want to take care of. I have no idea where I'm trying to go here. Let me move. Oh, of course. Oh. Abiotic Factor, you are becoming such a pain in the ass now. You have to go through so many loops to find your way forward, and then you just keep throwing these frickin' health tanks at you over and over and over. Like, I don't know how you have... How it was so well designed to start out with, and it's become so crap in the later stages. That's the only way I can describe it, is it's gone to crap. It's been difficult trying to navigate this area. You had the slog that was security having to worry about trying to navigate that. It's it's getting frustrating more so than there's feels like any tangible reward for doing all this. And I don't even know if I'm going the right direction either. Because, like, nothing from, like, the goal indication is saying that even the direction I'm working towards is going to anything. And so many of these doors need this tier 5 hacking tool. I haven't found a single spot yet for where we find a single resource to start on that. It's getting to be more frustrating than anything else, and it really feels like a letdown for a lot of this new stuff. Like, it wouldn't be so bad if these new weapons felt like they really packed a punch, but it feels like they're trying to keep you at the static level where you don't get above it, but you only continue to meet it. Like, for all these order guys and that, the magbo, some I've been able to take out with a single shot, but for the most part, it hasn't worked like that. 
it's taken two, three, even more than that. And you would think with something that says it's like 90 damage compared to just the 30, it would have a little bit more effect and outcome for it. And now I also have to contend with the possibility that snipers are back and... God, this is area is such a mess of an implementation. Like, I guess it's holding up the tradition that water levels in games are some of the ones that you do not like at all. And though this one doesn't use, like, you doing a lot of water from what we see so far, I guess just the fact it's around water is giving it this complete, just horrible implementation and work with. Because now I'm also going to have to run past the security bots once again to try to find our stuff and then keep going forward. Ah, <sighs> lord. Yeah, and I can't get into there because you need the tier 5 tool. Nothing I've found indicates, like... ...what that tool is or where the resources are to make it. That's right, I think if I just stay here... Okay, there's, I can get by that. And I think I'm clear to get to our stuff over there. Although there might still be that one, uh, fortified Exor here. But you've got nothing. And these health kits don't have any actual health to them. That's another thing. Why is all... There we go. I'll take that, because I'm definitely going to need it. But it feels like it's such a tick-off to have all these first aid kits around, yet so few of them actually just help you with your standard health. Okay, but we're in here now. Okay, and our stuff is down this way. Oh, of course, it's right there. Just try and get out of. Oh. Yeah, you're growing to be coming back to attack, aren't you? I don't. Oh, frickin'. All right, let's not forget the stupid teleportation powers. I can't even get a freaking moment to goddamn heal or get any openings. <sighs> this freaking goddamn game. There, okay, I don't know where it's gone off to, but at least it seems like lost track of us. Yeah, everything is over at that end, so I don't even know what the hell I'm doing here. What do you have to say? Oh, and of course there's... Okay, I do at least have a spot. Let me put down the, uh, charging station. Yeah, which I got to put together. And we'll at least be able to recharge our equipment, so that way... I'm hoping everything can fit on there. But yeah, the map of this place is basically useless. You're in so many actual, like, tight contained areas that, aside from this general overview, there's not much I can say, like, really does anything. Dr. Derek Mance reporting. 
I cannot say whether the reservoir is one of our great successes or an abject failure. When we brought back O142 from Antiverse 13, we knew it was some kind of living machine. Living machine? A biological engine. It was Wakeman who dropped a fragment into the reservoir. Accidentally, he claimed. The development of the organism since then has been nothing less than extraordinary. The logic by which this organism builds itself is almost impossible to discern. An interweaving of facets forming what Simmons called a citadel. We have reason to believe it performs some kind of processing function. But I would be the first to admit its operation is currently beyond our understanding. Okay, that's an interesting way of describing that thing. Oh, frickin', where are you? There, stop that. Okay, yeah, all kinds of materials crates, but none of them are, like, new that I can say we need the stuff from them. And... Oh! Well, I can open that door up. Oh, I didn't see you there. If you want to reach the portal in the neutrino detector, you've got a rather long swim ahead of you. I wouldn't try it without equipment and the subs out of action. Is that what I'm supposed to be trying to do? Is get to that for the portal? Because, like, that's the first bit of direction I've actually gotten from this for... I don't know how long. Yeah, that seems to be it. I need to look at making a scuba suit. So at least I have some kind of direction from here. And that's... Rotary pump. I don't know if even... I'm not sure if I've even come across any... Oh, okay, I think now I know where I have. It must be in the hydro plop, or the hydro pipes when I take those apart. So is that what all of this was for? Was to just get the, uh... The plans for the diving suit. Because I can honestly see that's being how the game operates. To say, oh, here's all these... All these loops and hurdles go around just to get a blueprint to go for something else. Oh, I got this little... Oh, god damn. Up we go, because again, gotta throw everything around you. Okay, so that's probably what's down the other side of the stairs that are over there. Ah, uh, the XOR quills. See, yeah, I thought those were going to some kind of, like, extra ammo or something, but I haven't had a use for them yet. Sure, that all like that. The 308 ammo, it'd be nice if I had something that could go into, but... Oh, don't tell me you respawned. Okay, at least that one was easy to take down. But there's still the other big one right here. summon a different one to take? Because that was not the same as the one we were just fighting. Okay. No, you're still not dead. Okay, now you're finally dead. Yeah, you guys have way too much health on you. It wouldn't be bad if you were just, like, one alone in an area, so that way it's like a little mini-boss fight, but... The fact that they've got, like, multiples in the same area is going to be annoying. Okay, and then... I don't know if this is a different area. Yeah, there's that other carbuncle we've been hearing. Okay, that takes care of that. Oh, there's the other one of those. Ah, 
freaking bugger. Of course, can teleport right behind you. So trying to set up ambushes are kind of a moot point. And I'm out of ammo for that. God damn this. And there's our last bit of actual healing. Ah. Ah, why do they put so much garbage into this? Like, seriously. Don't be I bad at these things. I need to, uh, defecate. Like, look at these guys. They go down pretty simply. But now you got these other big friggin' brutes that take all kinds of punishment. Oh, did he actually... Oh. Okay, maybe... I don't know if we inflict, like, a bleed effect on him or something, but at least he's down. So we'll take that, and... God, another tier... Well, we can at least get a good drink in. So, we must have to find the next uh, keypad hacker thing in the... In the portal hub. Unless there's something in there. Oh, and here's the... Yeah, I talked about needing the uh, other stuff from the mica fields again. Oh, and there's... No, oh, can't even open. So they made sure to stop that from being an option. I don't know if that's... Yeah, I think that's the lift over there. And it looks like there's... A weird hologram thing, some oil. I don't know if I've actually come across that oil, so that might actually be one of the things we need for new recipes. But it does look like the only way to get to them is taking the lift and being subject to everything in that area. Which I'm not looking forward to. So you know what, let me handle facilities right now. What the... I can break this? Is this what I've been needing to take down for new? No, apparently not, because I don't have any new recipes gained from doing that. I thought, is that what I needed for the, uh... The new hacking thing. But apparently they just give you some random pieces. And... Well, I meant to wash yourselves off. Or... Or is the option to wash yourself off only there if you need it? I'm not sure, but okay. God, I hate that I'm going to do this, but I don't have many other options since we... ...do want to find out what those things are, so... There's that down. He's just roaming about over there. Okay, can make another rebar bolt. And let's see. Axle grease. Hmm. Interesting junk, Interesting. which made a void pack? What the hell? Uh, looks like it's going to need stuff that we don't even have the uh, options for right now. Laser. Yeah, again, more stuff that I... feel my blood sugar falling. Okay, I think that was old to really pick up from this little spot here. Yeah, he knows I'm here, so you know what? Just gonna do that. And we're gonna get on our way out of here. As... 
Yeah, he doesn't care anymore. We At least they have like a tight leash for some stuff. So we don't have to worry about them following us. Can't open here. Ah, uh, there is a vent there, but you know what? I feel like it is a case of we might as well head back for... Oh, goody, they're back alive. Does that mean all the other things in here respawn too? I don't think so, or at least it doesn't look like they have yet. Oh, of course, that thing's back. down. Come on, register the hits. There we go. Oh, where is that bugger? I hear him, but I don't see him. I'm hoping he'll just, like, poof away on us. Ah, uh, yeah, inventory's full, so I, I probably shouldn't even worry about that if the inventory is full. I'm gonna recall a vehicle... Uh, we don't have any other order keys, so I don't think that's anything to worry too much about. And Kevlar scrap. We do need those, and I don't think I need the axle grease, so we'll... Not that. Yeah, we'll take that. And I guess we try to get our way back to our base in one piece. Now this might be a bit tough to do. Yeah, that's going to know we're here. I think as long as I keep moving, I might be able to avoid some of what's coming our way. I'd say some, not all. Okay, and then this back down around here. This has been by far the worst area to try getting through in the game. I really think the biggest problem is just because it doesn't have a great way of letting you know what direction you're trying to get to for a goal. Like, I still don't know if, uh... I don't even know if that sniper's back, so you know what, I better do a quick check while we're here. I don't even know if the portal in the uh, tower is what we need to go for or not. Okay, good. They're not here. So you know what? We can hop down and probably walk away back along here. I'm, I'm wondering if that place we found down there that got us to the water is what we need to use, or if I... Yeah, I have no idea for this area. It's just a mess to try to figure out. Okay, take that apart, because we do need the rotary pump. Or, yeah, I don't need the 308. I don't have anything that can... And we're going to have a portal storm tonight, too. Uh, I guess it's a good thing we're heading back to fully stockpile, repair, and... See how we're doing for our full stock. But yeah, I think that's the thing that needs to be done a bit better, is explaining the step-by-step -step here of, like... You need, like, okay, there's a portal that's in this neutrino tower that'll take you over to the main core area here. But in order to reach that, you're going to need a diving suit, and we think somebody over here has it. So your goal is to go find this person, which then directs you to the neutrino thing, which then directs you to the main goal. Not this weird thing of, here's the main goal at the very end of the whole system such. You have to figure out every little piece and how we've all logic it together to go there. 
Just get out of here. Thank you. I've had enough hassle with everything so far. Let's slap this on here to recharge. I am grateful that the repair cost for a lot of this stuff is pretty simple and straightforward. Because it's one saving grace after dealing with everything we have had come up our way. I reckon you know what you need to do. And if you don't, well, don't look at me. I would like some of what you got in there, though. Well, not over there. Uh, well, at least get this in order. Okay, that there. There we go. Yeah, let's stockpile what we've all got and see I'm how we're experiencing I'm... an insufficiency of food. Now I prop. Oh no, I guess the lab rat came through here. Alright, let's start with repair and everything so nothing like fully breaks on us. Okay, there we go. That's good to know. That's all in order. Just see what I can throw into what spots. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll toss those, those, that, that, that. I might keep the sigil. Nah, we'll throw that in. I don't plan on having like that much combat I'm going up against, so. And yeah, truthfully, you told the jump pad I can probably get rid of because I don't really use it for anything. Okay, uh, let's see. Might as well start maybe with first aid. All oh, right, I can take down. Where are those quills? Those can produce a lot of bio scrap. And that will let me restock us with some healing stuff, so we're not too badly off there. That's good in order. I've got some extra food sitting there, so that's no big deal. Oh, actually, you know what? Because it did say I was getting pretty hungry, might as well make use of this. Okay. Now, the diving suit... Oh, it's going to need two air compressors. That's probably where I'm going to have problems. Yeah, let's put... Use the water bottle, top these all off. There we go. And top that back up. Right, what do we need for this diving suit? Uh, I gotta find out where that is first. Probably armor and gear, yeah. Oh, all we need are the air compressors. Which only need... Okay, well, we need another canister, but... I'm actually surprised how close we are to having this ready and made. Hoarding items is actually paying off well. I'm trying to think of where the closest fire extinguisher might be. I think we found some even just in the, uh... Sector 3 over there. The lab area. I think we've probably passed quite a few just sitting on the walls I've never taken, so let's... Go grab that. And then make up some more stuff for the magbo, and I think we're basically prepared to be able to go for the uh, the tower next, or like the neutrino thing. I still don't super know if that is the way forward to then reach these other things, or I like I've skipped steps. It's honestly one of the most convoluted parts I've been through. <laughs> yeah, I thought I saw a fire extinguisher just somewhere on the walls around here. Might as well have another little drink. I don't suppose it was in here, was it? I mean, it'd be smart to keep fire. Ex hey! Yeah, 
actually was. Oh, loot spill bag. Oh, just from the uh, first aid kit. Okay, so that is already the uh, diving suit put together. Now, I don't know if I have to worry about any threats in the water, too, or it'll just be as simple as a long swim out to the tower. But we'll probably be handling that next week. But yeah, this has been... It's been a headache, for sure. Like, the containment sector was a little bit convoluted, in that you were circling a lot back and forth all the time for getting everything. But at least it kind of kept you up to date on where each of the, like, little steps were to keep you progressing through it went off to. This one, again, I'm just hoping the portal is the right step towards getting to some of these other things, because if not, I don't know what else I'm supposed to be doing. Everything for, uh, the hydro plant... ...doesn't really have much detail to go off of. And then there's also... I might want to pick up the anti-heat suit. My thinking is... I don't know if that carbon plating item will be that used, but there might be some recipes where it would be good to have it. Alright, I need to scrap that down, don't I? Yeah. Oh, I actually got to crafting level 8. Uh, has that... When sharing recipes with others, they don't have to complete the research phase. Oh. Well, that doesn't really do much for me. Now okay, there's that. Okay. Diving suit is in order. Now, I don't know... Okay, so stuffy suit, increase that, allows breathing underwater for much longer time, flippers that allow faster swimming. But I also saw, where was it? Uh, there's another thing in diving. At least I thought there was like a pair of goggles I looked at somewhere else. There, swim goggles. I don't know if I need to have that with it or not. But all I need for that is some quantum glass, which, to be honest... Uh, I actually don't know if I have anything I can scrap down for glass too easily. Yeah, not particularly. You know what, maybe what I'll do is I'll try heading out... Glass should be easy enough to come by, but I'm going to also see about trying to get another canister. And making a small trip back to the blacksmith in order to get one of those anti-heat suits. I doubt it's going to have that much, uh, utility aside from the mica fields. But at least it becomes the case of if the carbon plating that is connected there is that important. I've got a means of having it rather steadily. Or it's not going to be as much of a headache trying to get in there, grab it, and get out. I'm wondering if it'd be faster to find a fire extinguisher up through this way. Now it reminds me, I also have to make up more rebar bolts too. A lot of busy work to start getting to the new stuff, or hopefully get to the new stuff. Nope. Oh. Uh, give it a moment. I you know, like... may soon need the facilities. I wonder if I should even try looking at uh, getting the XOR hearts I need for the uh... I can't go on. No. Oh. Cold. Okay, maybe I'll quickly just grab this bit of carbon and get out of here. I didn't realize this area gets this bad. No. Oh. Okay, so I don't know if you freeze solid, but... Okay. 
Wait. Any colder and I'll be homeostatic. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I gotta, like, break out of the ice there. Oh, come on. I should not be freezing up that badly here. Okay, and I did see an XOR. Yeah, maybe I'll... Oh, that's... Alright, that's a dead one, but I don't think I can carve them up, can I? No. No, they're just props. I was going to see if maybe I could easily carve them up. Okay, there's a raw XOR heart. Oh, and they have a... Oh no, okay, so they don't have a, like, time limit of how long they go before they expire. I thought maybe they did. Let's see if I can find another one. Yeah, I think it should be just out here. At least you're kind of trivial to deal with now. And I still gotta remember I want to pick up the glass, too. And I don't know if I have any back at base. I feel like I have to. But I know there's another one opposite side here, so maybe we'll go... Okay, can't break that. Oh, you know what? Let's see if maybe I can just crouch and sneak my way through this. Yeah, here we go. I'll be taking your heart. So I'll take your heart. Uh, not the arm. There's the heart. Okay. I'm hoping I have at least one back at base. And then that way I don't have to worry about the portal storms ever again. And I'm trying to think of somewhere that would have a lot of glass. I could easily just get the uh, scraps I need. <sighs> I don't know if I'll super Short need now. the... Uh... The swim goggles or not, but I figure... Oh! And another one right there. I don't suppose there's anything around here that I could just get for, like, the glass. Can I? Nah, doesn't really look like it. And we're getting a little late into the episode, too, so you know what? Oh, actually. Test tube right there. Now let's get back and get all this in order. Oh, hang on. These might be where I can get some glass from. There's one piece. Now ah, it's on the inside, but there's another piece. Yeah, I can't do that on that. There's a couple of those. I suppose that probably not going to be considered, uh... No, just plastic scrap of all things. I thought maybe there'd be a chance it would have. No, oh, there's some though. Uh, to do any other filing, or sorry, photocopiers. Doesn't look like it. But you know what? That I think is good enough. And yeah, the screen has closed in a little bit top and bottom. I guess that's what happens when you do have heavy, uh, fatigue. Your eyes are getting heavy so you can't see all that well. All we gotta do is bring this back and we have a fair stockpile to be ready for next 
week's episodes. Okay, it has been an ordeal. Oh, okay, good. I don't even have to worry about a portal storm tonight because we were out for so long. Yeah, I know I have stuff to recharge, but my thinking is first, let's just get... Ah, oh, well, we can finish it up here. And also make sure we don't have our plants die since they've been providing a fair bit of food. And yeah, I mean, check there to see how the water's doing, so they're all good. Okay, that's fine there. Ah, uh, yeah, I can make that if I needed to. Maybe we'll hold off, though. Oh, I am one heart short, darn it. I thought I'd saved up at least one he Oh, maybe I didn't because they do have a... Longevity to them. Shoot. Okay, well, we'll take that stack back. Dismantle that. Craft up another uh, air compressor. Yeah, that will trade to the blacksmith. Might as well make up some more of our rebar bolts. We'll go for five to give us 15 more. Okay. Yeah, let me, I guess, handle some of our needs first, so that way we're better off next episode. This has been a, re a weird week. I'm not sure if I would say it's been as rough as, like, uh... Last time we were kind of slowed back in like Sector 3 in containment, trying to get the Mica fields and that done. But it does feel like there's not as much thought as there could be in some matters. And yeah, let me just again handle everything we can. Okay, there we go. Yeah, take that, just for the sake of things. Uh, I wonder if I should go and just use the air compressor now, or like, get... You know what, just so that way I've got, I probably will do that. I know it's pushing the time limit on, like, how I usually, like, keep the episodes for their length, but... At least this way, get it all done at once and see. And then maybe I'll swap and get these charged up in between. And headlight will need a recharge as well. Yeah, the busy work is real and it really slows down the uh, progression. But again, it still feels like you never really get weapons that... They only feel powerful when you go back with them. When you have them in the areas you kind of get the blueprints, they don't super feel like they're all that potent. Like, since it still takes like four or five shots with this to take down one of the uh, shotgun order guys. It's nice how well it takes down the snipers. I do wish it took down just like the regular armed ones a bit better, but... I don't know if it would be accuracy or something else that will count towards getting that. I just want to double check that there's air compressor for uh, that suit. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. There we go. Fire proximity suit. Heat resistance plus three. You could almost get away with not having to have it if you had one more item that could give you heat resistance, which I feel like is a little bit... They should have given another piece of the forge equipment uh, fire resistance. Like, the head or the greaves. Like, just getting the plus two from those doesn't help you all that much. Because I don't think there's really that many enemies that use fire. The only one I think we've encountered that does has been the new robots in the hydro plant with the uh, grenades they throw your way. Or the Molotovs. 
But we've at least got it, so that'll help us out if we ever need it again or we need the mica fields. God, so much busy work and not that much progress to show for it. Oh well. At least it does feel like we are getting some stuff done. Yeah, we'll store that. Next episode... I'll also make up the swim goggles just in case. Because I don't super know if they will have that much importance behind them, but... We'll squeeze that in today's episode as well. I figured... Let's get as much possible of all this done and then come next week. It's all truly new. Yeah, we still do have a fair stockpile. Yeah, armor's decent enough. Yeah, I don't think I need that little extra order thing we picked up. So we'll see what all this does. Get those, good to go. Perfect. Fill that up. Do, 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 do. Back here, back to, I think it's tools. Yeah, there it is. Make up the quantum glass, make up the swim goggles. Yeah, so that'll replace the headlamp if we need. And now we are in a spot where we will end off for today. Alright, let me throw the suit into here. Just so we don't have its weight down. So, thank you guys for joining me on this mixed week of Abiotic Factor. Hopefully next week, now that we might have some destination in mind, it'll go a little smoother, but... Yeah, it's definitely felt like it's been an all over the place, no idea where I'm actually going for it. We've got all the gear we should need so we can go for the swim, go to this portal, see wherever it takes us. I don't know what we're in store for there. From the sounds of it, I thought I read an email there's a snow monster or something like that. I don't know. We just gotta see what comes and hope we can survive it is where we're at right now. But thank you guys for joining me. If you do have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to, be sure to leave them in the comments right down below. Until I see you all in the next video episode of Survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.